Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, I'll be replacing the battery on an Asus Zenbook. Let's take a look at the model here. If you take a look at the back of it, it says Q420V. That is the model of this laptop. Now, before I remove the battery, let's talk about what may be the symptoms that you're experiencing. So if you feel like the clicker is not clickable, that means that the battery is swollen from the inside out, meaning that the battery is supposed to be flat as it gets older and swollen, it pushes out from the inside out. Therefore, the clicker may stop work or not working. And one of the things that you want to pay attention to is the bottom of the back cover. If, you're f if it's flat like this, then it's great. But if you notice that there's a, a hard area or the, like a lump, then more likely that the battery is pushing the back cover as well. Okay, and one of the easy indicator is that the battery is not holding the charge. Let's just say that you um, fully charge the computer and the battery only lasts you like half an hour. Then more likely that the battery needs to be replaced. All right, so to remove the screw, I'll be using a Torx T5 here. Uh, this, these are the Torx screws, so you need to use a Torx screwdriver for that. There are three on the top, one here on the side. and one on the left side of the computer and there are four screws here at the bottom all right once all the screws are removed the next part is to remove the back cover what I like to do is to start from the corner here, stick it underneath, get a metal prying tool. Once I have enough of the gap, I like to use the plastic instead of the metal because there is a chance that you may put a scratch onto the computer. So plastic is much better than the metal. Alright, at this point you can just pop it right up and the entire back cover is removed. Here is where the battery is and if you're looking for the model, that is the model right here which is the C31N2105. That is the model for the ASUS battery. To disconnect the battery, first you need to do is to push this little clicker, this metal clicker needs to be open in order for the connector to come off so you can take a look here the metal clipper is clipping down to the connector push it away from your body that is to disconnect the clipper and the connector can just pop right up just like that okay once that is done go ahead and get the screw and remove the screws and get the battery out be using a Phillips screwdriver if you're not sure where to buy the battery or the tools for this repair please check the link down in the description below I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement battery as well as the uh, tools for this repair. So I have removed six screws that are holding down to the battery and once the six screws are removed the entire battery will just come right off. Again just want to point it out that is the model for the battery and the clicker here is at the bottom which I was explaining earlier if you feel like the clicker is not working then more likely because of the battery now a good battery is supposed to be flat like this it shouldn't have any lump there's no lump to it 
but if you feel like your battery is like pregnant or swollen there's a lump to it then more likely you need a replacement all right thanks for watching until next time take care and if please smash the like button for me i really appreciate you for liking it until next time bye now